Tomorrow, representatives of Muammar Gaddafi's government and the Libyan opposition are scheduled to attend an African Union meeting in Ethiopia. The meeting is part of an effort to reach a ceasefire in Libya. When floods destroyed many West Suburban homes last July, the Federal Emergency Management Agency stepped in to help. Well, now FEMA wants some of that money back. ABC 7 Cheryl Burton joins us with the story, Cheryl. Ron and Kathy, more than 300 million federal dollars plowed into Illinois to help residents rebuild after the flooding. But now federal officials say thousands of dollars they gave to an Elmwood Park woman was a mistake. Tributed and to recover those funds. It's really uh, cr almost cruel to come back later and say, we want the money back. FEMA officials say more than 900 Illinois residents will be receiving letters soon asking for their grant money back. DeVito, meantime, says she is planning to appeal the decision. The government can deduct the money from a recipient's income tax return if the grant is not paid back. Brown and Kathy, also a collection agency, may be notified as well. Boy, Cheryl, thanks. Problems for many, that means surgery and an incision that leaves a scar on the neck. But a new approach offers a more attractive option. Healthy reporter Sylvia Perez joining us in tonight's special segment. Sylvia. Kathy and Ron, in the wake of the Japanese nuclear crisis, we've heard a lot about radiation poisoning and thyroid cancer. In the U.S., the number of diagnosed thyroid cancers has been rising for some time now, and the cause is still not clear. But it leaves many patients facing surgery, also called a thyroidectomy. An innovative approach means no ugly scar, Patients are traveling thousands of miles to Chicago to have this done. But is it an option for everyone? I bought a la Gran Manzana.